Hey gals, welcome to my channel! Yeah! It's messages from Divine Feminine. We are the Divine Feminine. I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. I'm Divine Feminine. Energy. Right? It's like that, right? It's all spiritual. I'm Divine Feminine. I'm special. Twin flames, oh yeah. That's how it works, right? That's all you gotta do is you gotta go, I'm spiritual. I'm divine feminine. Uh, and that proves that you're spiritual, right? That's how that works, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that one. Gosh, it's really that easy? Oh, shit. We could save the whole world just by getting everybody to go, I'm spiritual. I'm divine feminine because I said so. Uh, now, I've got some interesting news for you if you're new to this channel. I am what you call Divine Feminine. Twin Flame, yes. And my Twin Flame, who is a woman, is Divine Masculine. Or what you call Divine Masculine. I do not call it that. I do, in these readings, refer to it that way only because you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Your twin flame, the divine masculine, they ran away from you. You are the feminine, whether you're an actual man or not, right, is another matter, but you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. But it actually doesn't have anything to do with gender at all. Not even a little bit. It's energy, it's energy, it's energy. There's a positive and there's a negative. Think of a magnet or a battery. It's energy, it's a polarization. You and your twin flame are the same soul. And the soul, in order to exist in this physical reality of duality and actually I should say it could be metaphysical too. It could be physical, metaphysical, right? Because the universe is part physical and part energy, okay? But it's duality is how it functions. That's how the universe operates. This, that, here, there, light, dark, good, bad, like it, don't like it, love, fear, positive, negative, big, small, fast, slow, right? Duality. So it's a energetic polarization. The soul separates itself into two in order to exist in this universe. That's you. You and this other person, your twin flame. I prefer to call it your other self. Think about how huge that is for a second. They are your other self. And where you are aligned, where you are identical is the soul. Your existence. Your very life. That is where you are identical. Where you are polarized is the mind. That's why when you're like thinking about them and pining for them and yearning for them emotionally, mentally, yearning for them, they run. When you let go, when you stop caring, they magically start talking to you again. How many of you have had that experience? Probably many of you. Maybe not all of you, but very many of you. And if you spent any time reading online about people who've described those things, and I know you have because I did it too, right? In the beginning, I did the same things you're doing, searching everywhere desperately for information about Twin Flames. You see people talking about it like that. Like one time I read a story about a guy, or maybe it was a gal, right? It's usually a woman who 
someone told her, yeah, just delete all of his text messages. Oh my God, I can't do that. And she finally made herself do it. She finally made herself delete all the text messages. And within an hour, her twin flame contacted her for the first time in like months. Because she, 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 she said, you know what? You're right. I have to let go. I have to let go of this person. That's why she deleted the text messages. It wasn't the action or the doing, right, of deleting the text messages that caused the person to unblock her and start talking to her again. It was her energy, right? It was her decision like, all right, well, I'm really going to do it. I'm going to let go. And as a result of that energy of her decision, it, you know, her internal energy, her internal space, she did, I think, what you would call detaching from the physical form of her other self, her twin flame, from the physical person. That's when he showed up, right? So that does work. I can help you go way deeper than that. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional twin flame coach. You just got to, I mean, detaching is one thing that you got to do. That certainly does get the process kind of started. It gets the ball rolling. But you got to go a lot deeper than that. You have to align with your soul, which is your twin flame. And uh, it works. It works. It works so well. Uh, you can get your twin flame to unblock you and start talking to you again. You can shut down the obsessive thinking. It's the true spiritual journey, guys. You and your twin flame are that. You are the same soul. You've got to do soul stuff, not mind stuff. And that's always been the whole teaching behind traditional Zen spiritualism. Is you've got to do soul stuff, not mind stuff. The mind is expectations and have tos, and you got to act this way, and you're required to be nice, and you're required to be polite, and expectations right you got to act like this it's got nothing to do with it it's consciousness the soul it's awareness right it's what you do with your consciousness or should i say be it's what you be with your consciousness that's where it counts that is the soul that is your twin flame consciousness being being all right so at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups the queen of cups and she's having not a margarita to drink but just straight tequila she's gonna chug that whole fucking thing because her twin flames running away from her and she needs a drink oh boy does she need it <laughs> all right not really so the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Divine Feminine, I get the impression that you're just not really concerned with your twin flame this coming week. That's probably why they are going so batshit crazy. <laughs> what was I just talking about during the intro, right? You're just not really concerned with them. You're just kind of letting them do whatever, right? I mean, there might still be that desire within you there could even still be some pain some suffering going on uh within you but you're kind of like shifting out of that energetically into more like how do i let this person go i'm just not really concerned with them you're more concerned with yourself and your own life your own path what does this mean you're kind of looking at this whole thing like well hey maybe there's something more to this than just this person Right, You're starting to come to that realization that there's something much, much deeper going on here than just with the physical person. And you're trying to get a grasp on what that is because you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know that there's something deeper than just the person. And you're right about that. You're absolutely right about that. This is your ascension. This is your awakening. It actually doesn't have anything to do with the physical person. Now, you can cause... The physical person to come be with you but it's through your embracing your ascension that that can happen 
King of Cups, recent past, Divine Feminine. So, you know, if, if ever there was yin and yang, right, I guess that's it. So, and that's kind of what this Queen of Cups is trying to say. This is you kind of letting go of the other person, getting out of the obsession with them, right? Um, that's kind of all in the past. Like, all the importance that you place on them, they are very important to you still. You may still feel that way. You might not. But just for those of you that kind of do, that might still be there. But what I'm saying is you're starting to shift out of that, right? That's why the King of Cups is in the past, this top row here, recent past, right? Past, middle is present, bottom is future. This is your over on this side, so-called karmic situation. And then this here is how you feel towards divine masculine. So that's that's good. That's very, very healthy. You are kind of starting to progress, um, letting go of the person and looking for other answers to this. Like, what is this really all about? So that's good. That's good. <clears throat> that's progress. And that, again, that's how you do something about the person anyway. If, if you were going to try to attract them to you, you have to approach this from that this is your own journey. It's not actually about the physical person. And when you do that, then they come screaming in, wanting to talk to you again. The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So your whole life situation, so this side over here is supposed to be like your personal shit, right? Your so-called karmic situation. Well, they were your personal situation. Everything about your life was. That's why the King of Pentacles comes out right there. But the Ace of Cups in, in reverse is like the, your whole idea about love and relationships has really been turned on its freaking head. Like everything that you thought about how the world worked and relationships and how these things were supposed to be, it's all really been thrown into question. Everything's been turned on its head. And you're just not really sure what to think about all that anymore. But you do recognize, again, that there's something deeper going on here. Right. Exactly. So how do we feel towards Divine Masculine? This is recent past. Well, that's interesting. The Ace of Swords right next to the Queen of Wands. So when you look at your twin flame, the person, you're starting to recognize that there's a piece of you in there and you're so right. But here's the thing, you're not just conceptualizing it in your head. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's deeper, it's a knowing, it's the soul, it's soul stuff. You experience it, you're having these strange sensations and experiences, these weird realizations about you and this other person, okay? You're going very, very deep with this. You look at them and you see you. And that's huge. That's huge. And you can't really put your finger on it. It cannot be explained, okay? And that's by design. The soul is consciousness, right? This is all about aligning with your soul. I mean, for goodness sake, the other person is the other half of your soul. So what did you think it was about, right? Well, you cannot understand consciousness. Consciousness is the soul. Consciousness is not thought. So you're trying to put your finger on it and you cannot. This deeper realization that you're having, Divine Feminine. Okay, you can't quite put your finger on it. Why is that? because it's not thought. You necessarily cannot figure it out. It's consciousness. It's knowing. It's deeper than thought. It's an experience. You just know that something deeper is at play here. And you don't have to do anything about it. There's nothing for you to figure out. You just gotta go deeper into that. And I can tell you that from experience as a Twin Flame coach. It's like that. You can't really think your way there. And by the way, if you're new here, I do have other videos where I talk about Twin Flames. So these are not, these other videos, they are not card readings. 
It's me talking to the camera. I am a professional twin flame coach. I've coached over 2,000 people. I was able to attract my twin flame to me and I've helped others do it. You can go watch my free content right now instead of just fucking watching tarot readings and obsessing over the person. Why should you listen to me? Why should you watch my free content? Well, go to my website. There's a link in the description box below. If you wanna go to my website, there's a whole bunch of testimonials there from my students. And I've got all kinds of students who have attracted their twin flame to them, shut down the obsessive thinking. I've coached 2,000 people. So if you wanna know, why should you listen to me? Which is a fair question. That's a fair question. There's a lot of people on the internet talking about twin flames, right? And everybody says you should listen to them. Well, why should you listen to me? Well, there you go, there's the proof. I've got 2,000 students. I've got all kinds of people that are with their twin flame. I was able to attract my twin flame to me. All of the videos where I talk about twin flames are on a playlist, a conveniently located on a playlist. And the name of that playlist is called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Please go watch those videos where I talk about twin flames. Please don't just watch card readings. Please don't just do that. Go watch my other content. I'm different. I'm different than everybody else when it comes to talking about what twin flames are. I have a science-based approach. You're gonna watch my videos and you're gonna go, wait, I get it. There's a reason why he's helped over 2,000 people and he's been so successful. Yeah, there is because I'm the only person in the entire internet who talks about twin flames the way that I do. And I don't know why that is. I don't get it. I don't get it. It just seems so straightforward to me. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You have to align with your soul. You have to let go of the physical person and embrace traditional spiritualism. That's all this is. No healing, no clearing karma, no fixing childhood wounds, none of that crap, none of that stuff. It's just traditional spiritualism. Go watch my free content. Again, the name of the playlist, How to Get Your Twin Flame. And if you want proof, go to my website. It works, guys, it works. Now, this is very interesting, this Three of Cups. This Three of Cups here, it comes out right at the center of the reading. And this card has been coming out a lot lately, hasn't it? It came out on Friday. It was kind of a big energy that was in that reading. It was present in that reading. It came out yesterday for Divine Masculine, same thing. It was present in that reading. It was very prevalent. So this card is not going away. It's going to stay in our face. So Divine Masculine is going to be looking to you to solve their problems now. The tables have turned. It's probably going to be ephemeral, which means short-lived. But when you have these deeper realizations, Divine Feminine, they just kind of drift in your twin flame. You don't really have to do anything about it. You already are your twin flame. And the mind goes, well, all right, well, I'm, I am my twin flame. What are you going to do about it? Well, you don't do anything about it. It's done. You already are them. You just have to be that. Okay, and they're going to look to you like you're some kind of a, like a higher friend, like somebody with, somebody that can provide some kind of meaning to them, right? They're going to come across with this kind of three of cups energy, this celebratory energy, but there's something deeper behind that. So you're going to see your own realizations reflected in this person. You don't need to say anything to them about it. You just, I think you're going to notice that, okay? They're going to they're gonna want to hang out. They're going to want to talk. They're going to want to be friends. They're, they're going to want to party. Like, let's go do something fun, right? Kind of this three of cups energy. But in your interactions with them, that deeper energy is going to come out. You're going to feel it. Your 3D situation, well, we're kind of throwing that to the wayside. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. You're going to learn a lot this week, I think about the true self. Ten of Wands in reverse and the Fool, both in the reverse. Both in the reverse. So your desire to go down a deeper path with your own life, releasing those burdens, the cumbersome ego, the false sense of self, those things are still there, 
you're just kind of putting them on the back burner right now. I've got something interesting I need to learn about from my twin flame. Yeah, you sure do. Look at this. The Four of Pentacles and the Devil in this particular tarot deck. They call it the Shadow Side, but it's the same as the Devil. The Four of Pentacles and the Devil. So you may notice yourself accidentally sliding back into the energy of attachment, expectation, right, with your twin flame. That's subconscious stuff. Try to just be aware of that. Don't get sucked in. Um, but the idea is you're putting yourself in this situation. You're having these experiences with your twin flame so that you can learn from it. you got to look at the big picture, Divine Feminine. Okay, don't be looking at this tarot reading like, oh, when, I, when can I get to the end? When can I be with my twin flame? When is this going to be resolved? When is this going to do it for me? When am I going to right, get out of this? I got to know what the conclusion is. That's why you're watching a tarot reading because you're fixated on the outcome and you want to know how soon, how fast I can get there. And what I'm telling you is slow down. Learn something from these experiences. If you want to do something about your twin flame, you really have to embrace your ascension. And it's a total embrace. You embrace your entire life. Your whole life situation becomes a spiritual experience. That's how you get your twin flame to be with you. You really get to get a grip on this. This really is your spiritual awakening. And as long as you are aligned with that, the person just kind of drifts in over time. And they just don't leave you alone. They're just always around. <laughs> it's like that. You don't have to do anything about them. That's the whole thing about it. That's the whole beauty about this. You are your twin flame. Your soul is being. It already is done. You already are your twin flame. So stop trying to do something about them and just embrace your ascension. Go within. That's how they show up. That's how they start chasing you. That's how you can get them to unblock you. Guys, I've got students who, and you can go read, again, testimonials if, if you want to see some proof, right? You can go read testimonials on my website. You know, my twin flame had me blocked for like a year and a half, right? Totally hopeless situation. I took Kurt's introduction to the journey course, and after two weeks, they unblocked me and started making love confessions. You guys, that happens all the time. I've got all kinds of students that that has happened to. My twin flame, me, my twin flame, she rejected me. She said, no way, we're never gonna be together. You can forget about it. And I just embraced my ascension and she can't stop talking to me. She always wants to hang out. She's always around. We're always talking, hanging out. It's all good. And I don't have to do anything. It's easy. It's actually very, very easy to get your twin flame to want to be with you. Now, if you want to work with me, you can go watch my free content that I was telling you about earlier. But if you want to work directly with me, you can do that. I have a coaching system in place. Just go to my website, look around, you'll find it. You can sign up today for the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package. Over eight and a half hours of instructional videos, not on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to go way, way deeper than the free content that's on YouTube. I'm going to make sure that you get some kind of a result. At least I'm going to make a valiant effort. I can't do the work for you, but I'll show you how to do it. After you're done watching the videos, you and I are going to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. I have four calls a week, up to four calls every single week. My group coaching calls. You get a free trial. I strongly recommend you get the gold package because then you get two months of the group coaching calls. Guys, you gotta make a lifestyle change. Like I do offer the silver package. It's just got a week of, of the uh, calls, a week free trial of the calls. But if you don't talk to me, if you don't let me help you and let, let me help you like set up this new lifestyle, because this is a big thing, guys. We're not just gonna go back into the old patterns. Okay, you met the other half of your soul. This is a big deal. You have to embrace a complete and total lifestyle makeover, and that's exactly what I'm gonna help you do. So the group coaching calls are critical. That's why I recommend the gold package. 
you get two months of the group coaching calls. And then after your two month free trial, it's only $44 to stay on the calls. It's 44 bucks and you get like 20 hours of additional coaching every month. You guys, that's a steal. And the video package, just to start, it's only a few hundred dollars. It's very, very affordable, guys. I don't charge thousands. I know there's people that charge thousands of dollars for coaching. I don't. I don't do that. You save $50 when you pay in full. It's still a few hundred bucks. It's not that much money. It's like 269 for silver, 319 for gold. You do save $50 when you pay in full, but I do have payment plans where you can make little payments if you cannot afford to pay in full. It's like 50 or 60 bucks to get started, and I break it down into little payments. So there is that. If you don't have 300 bucks or 270 bucks right now, if you got $50 or $60, you can start a payment plan. And I'll break it down into little payments for you. And you guys, it works. It works, it works. It's the only thing that works. My system is proven. I've got three coaches assisting me, four group calls a week, the videos. I got a secret Facebook group where you can always reach someone to talk to. You guys, I got everything you need. Hit me up guys, go to my website. There's a link in the description box below if you wanna get started. Let's see what the Oracle deck has to say about Divine Feminine, which is actually not how it works. <laughs> Very interesting. If you want to go watch my free content, the, the second video on my playlist, How to Get Your Twin Flame, is What Are Twin Flames? Where I explain you know, what the whole deal is with gender. It's not actually gender. It's got nothing to do with it. Okay, I think it's over here. Yeah, it's one of these cards. Is it this one? Oh yeah, it's that one. Holy shit. That was like a spark. Oh, well now that's interesting. Divine Feminine, watch out. Watch out. That makes sense why that Devil card and the Four of Pentacles came out. Think about the Four of Pentacles and the Devil card. How similar they are. Clinging, right? It's the energy of being attached, of clinging, needing, not letting go, being attached, right? Being hooked, being chained together. I mean, these two cards are two little peas in a pod, the Four of Pentacles and the Shadow side, or the Devil. Security. What do you think you're getting out of this connection with this person? Is it that? Is it something similar to security? You think you're getting something out of it? You guys, you don't need to get something out of this connection. That's not the point. They trigger your awakening. Now, if you embrace the reason behind why that is so, your twin flame comes in to be with you, but it's because you've let them go. You've let go of the need for security. That's ego. You have to embrace your higher self, your higher being. Okay, that's why this Queen of Cups came out at the bottom of the deck. Like we started out with, you know there's something deeper going on here. Something way, way deeper. It's not about the physical person. And you know it. And it's time to make the decision to move forward with that. Two of Wands, most likely outcome. Divine Feminine, it's time to make plans. It's time to make your move. What are you going to do next? You know it's not about the physical person. They're going to keep coming back and pulling away, right? Coming back and pulling away and coming back and pulling away. They're going to keep doing that. You know that. Now, if you align with your soul, they're going to stop doing that. But here's the thing. You align with your soul. Aligning with your soul is where you let go of that security. You let go of that need, right? You go deeper. I don't need the person to be with me. Well, that's what causes them to come be with you. It's a paradox with your twin flame. It's traditional spiritualism. It's traditional Zen spiritualism. You need to think about this. That's why this Two of Wands came out. It's not about the physical person, guys. It's about your ascension, and it's deeper than form. It's deeper than form. It's the formless. Six of Cups, Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be thinking about letting go all the old patterns, all the old paradigms. This week is going to be really pivotal for Divine Feminine. Holy shit. 
we're doing a lot of very deep work. Lots and lots of, I, I think what you might call soul searching, right? Letting go of the whole template of relationships and questioning these things. What's really good for me? And what's going to happen? You're going to have that deeper realization with your twin flame. Okay? Karma, which is the judgment card in the traditional tarot deck, and the empress, exactly. You know that this is the beginning of something really huge for your life. It's going to be very long and life-lasting. That's... I mean, and that's kind of what I was getting at when I was pitching my services, right? And yeah, maybe I'm pitching my services in my video, but I'm giving you something of value too. Think about it. This is a lifestyle change. This is a permanent lifestyle change. We're not going to just get this all done and get this all squared away and get this all settled and I'll just finish this project of my twin flame thing and then I can get back to what I was doing. No, you're not. No, you're not. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? That's what you're thinking. We're going to get right back to what I was doing before. I just got to get this all settled and squared away and taken care of, and then I can get back to my life. No, you're not. No, you're not, Divine Feminine. There's no going back. This is it. This is a permanent lifestyle change. That's why judgment is coming out next to the Empress like that. You got to accept that, and you got to think about what that means for your future. This isn't about the person. This is about you. This is about you. That's why the two of wands comes out. You got to think about that. So lots of breakthrough this breakthroughs this week taking place for Divine Feminine. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button so that you get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you guys next time. I'll be back tomorrow for another Twin Flame video. Have a great Sunday, guys. Bye.